So to select a window hinge for a replacement, the key sizes you require are number one, the length of your hinge, which these vary from 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 16 inch, 20 inch and 24 inch. So this one here is 8 inch. The next size you require is the track width. So that is the overall width of the track. This one being 18 mil, which is standard. It was an older version which was 15 mil, but you don't really see this anymore. Uh, you find it in caravan windows. The third size you require, the most difficult one to take when the hinges are in situ on the window, is the stack height. There's two stack heights. You have a 13 mil, which is old style size, and you have a 17 mil stack. So that is basically when your hinges all closed up together, you're measuring from the top to the base of the plate, which this is 13. And the most common one as of today is a 17 mil stack. If you're unsure about the stack height of the hinge, if it's a 13 or a 17, we do supply hinges or se separately these little adapters that go on the hinge. So these would go on the 13 mil stack hinge and they simply just Click into place. Which brings your hinge up to the 17mm stack. That way, when you go to replace your hinges, you won't be stuck with the wrong set. I'll put a link in the description to these also. This is important because if you fit a 13 on a 17, the window won't operate correctly, and vice versa. The next thing to check is if your hinge has a special function. Um, these being nice and simple, there's nothing nothing there. You have a wee friction screw here that you can turn. Uh, you can watch my other video about that. Or if your window has a little button that allows it to open and then the whole window slide into the centre for easy cleaning. Or well, you may have a hinge that has a restrictor button that only allows the window to open to a certain distance, to 100mm, and then you press that button to allow the window to open fully. You can upgrade your windows if you don't have this, if you think this would be a good function to have for safety and for ventilation. And then when you close your window, it just clicks out back into place So I'll jump over to a window and I'll show you how to take the sizes. So this is a window we have here that I'll show you an example of how to measure your hinges. So it's just simple measurement. Put your tape measure right to the end of the hinge, right up against the frame and measure right over to the end of the hinge. And take the closest size to 8, 10, 12, 16, 20 and 24 inches. So these are, this is 410, 16 inch. The hinge is sitting at the bottom with the handle on the side and the window open sidewards. So this is classed as a side opener. Then take your track width, which we have 18 millimeters. And then again, the stack height is a hard one to guess when the, the hinge is in place. If it's 15 years old or a timber or aluminium window, nine out of 10 times it will be a 13 mil stack. Sometimes you can take a size by closing the window over from the, the base of this plastic up to two mil and onto the sash. And this should give you the height from the base to where the top of the hinge would be. This hinge, just while I have it here, is an egress easy clean. So this has that button I was talking about earlier that you press and slide the window to the centre so you can get easy cleaning and then you simply just slide it back it clicks back into place and it's a good wee function for upstairs windows.